<laughs> Detroit, there was mobile training. This is an example of what you can do for a simple assault in a situation where you're carrying a burnout. However, if you're carrying a firearm, you want to be very careful when someone grabs your weapon that you don't muzzle flash other people. So you wouldn't want to go kicking and kneeing people and trying to pull the gun away while your muzzle is flashing out into the community. Uh, it could be near your family or people you're protecting at work. So in this case, when you're fighting for control of the weapon, you want to control the muzzle, pull back on the grip as you go forward. This will give you biomechanical control leverage over the weapon. If you try to pull it back and he's pulling, if he's stronger, he's going to be able to overpower you. If you are pulling the weapon back, you need to pull the grip as you push the barrel and you need to go forward, up away from other people. Muzzle control is vital for survival, pushing it in and going forward towards the person. So you don't want to muzzle flash people, even when you're disarming people. And remember, a burner is a great option because it is a non-lethal, less lethal device. Intelligent options increase survivability.